Welcome back to the Next Gen Profits Podcast. We're your spiritual parents, Craig and Colette Toch. And we invite you to the Next Gen Champion Boot Camp. Ooh, Guys, this yeah. is where profits find tribe. Amen. We've accelerated your process over the last two years, mm -hmm. but there was such a switch this year. Yes. And the Lord started speaking to me about champions. And mm. he said, you need to bring champions into a tribe mm. where you can give them hands-on training to equip them with weapons of warfare. Mm. And as we started opening our doors to those champions, I realized, well, you guys came across equipped with plenty swords. Yes. You all have weapons already. However, you don't always know how to use it. Mm. So we've we took the, the heat up a little bit. We turned the heat up mm. in the oven of this Next Gen Profits podcast. And we've been very, very direct with you. And I've really mm. enjoyed the audience that have come from it. Yes. Because as we've turned the heat up, mm. we've started having profits engage back with us mm. that are indeed raising the bar mm. on the prophetic move. This is what you're a part of, yes. prophet. You're not just a prophet. You're a champion. And as part of this tribe, we are going to raise the bar on the prophetic mm. and lay this foundation for the apostolic move mm. that's about to come. Now, we spend a bit of time the last couple of weeks giving you some prophetic combat training, okay? Mm -hmm. We taught you how smart it is to have organizational skills, a little bit of diplomacy, and and, and some courage wouldn't um, harm you much either. Today, <laughs> yeah. we're going to pick up on that, and we're going to sharpen the edge of your sword with boldness. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. Now, when you perfect boldness, it's like taking all the weapons that you have, making them pristine in their condition, mm. and using them deliberately. Yes. Now, you you perhaps are asking, okay, what, what about boldness? What is it about boldness that will make me so effective? So we invite you to another high-level training session. Mm -hmm. Now, for those of you who have just jumped into this podcast over the last couple of weeks, we've been giving you guys the tools to use to be efficient on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. And uh, they've got names like diplomacy, organizational skills. Come on, are you serious? Are we really teaching about such simple things on a prophetic podcast? I mean, why aren't we teaching you to prophesy? Why aren't we teaching you to have visions? Well, because you guys, this is the Next Gen Prophets podcast and the listeners that come to this podcast already got all that stuff. Amen. You already got all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, go listen to the last two years where we taught you how to get that stuff. Yes. There are a lot of prophetic podcasts out there that will teach you how to prophesy, how to hear the voice of God. In fact, go get my book, Eight Ways to Hear the Voice of God. Sorted. Done. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, can we move on? <laughs> can we grow? Yeah. And to grow, you need more than just more gifts. You need to know how to express mm -hmm. those gifts correctly. You know, this reminds me of sports players. Actually, anybody who do drills. Mm -hmm. You know, I hated it when I was playing <laughs> sports because you would go and spend those times in training. You'd be on the field and you'd go through the drills over and over and over again. And it was tedious and mm -hmm. you're under the hot sun. But you know something? It allowed me to be in a position when in the real game, I didn't have to think of those drills. <sighs> and this is what I see the Lord is trying to do today, Prophet. You know, if you're wanting to step out in boldness, you need to have an edge that nobody else has. Yo. And when you've done the drills in private, and when you've been under the careful eye of the coach who has honed you in to mm. be the best player you can be, it's like when you go into that field, you just it emanates out of you. <laughs> and that's what the Lord's trying to do for you today, prophet. He's wanting you to stand in boldness, knowing that what is within you has been perfected. Well, you know, I love that illustration because out of the two of us, babe, you know, I'm really the drill sergeant. I'm like, you drop and give me another 10. Oh, I yeah. can't. Yes, you can. You've got one more in you. I yeah. love that illustration yeah. so much because it, it brings everything together. When I say the word champion, tribe, next gen, guys, I'm not seeing a bunch of weaklings. Mm -mm. They get pushed over at the first rejection. Mm -mm. A little bit of, of rejection, wind blows, and they go, oh, I can't do this anymore. Guys, 
Let's raise the bar. Mm. Hmm? Let's do some drills. And we're going to do those drills with boldness today. So please do bring all of your tools to the table. Amen. Bring your swords and your spears and your arrows and your shield, whatever it is. Come on, we did a whole series on prophetic types. What is your weapon of choice? Amen. Bring it to the table so that we can hone that weapon in with boldness. Mm. Now, what is boldness? <laughs> Why don't we start with that? Boldness is this. Acts 4, 13. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were uneducated and untrained men, they marveled, and they realized they had been with Jesus. Mm. Now, I saw boot camp there. Mm -hmm. I saw drills. Because when I see what Jesus did with yes. those 12 disciples, I see hour upon hour of drill time yes. before they stood up. Yes. You remember when Jesus gave them authority to go out two by two, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that came near the end of the training. That's right. Up until then, it was all about drills, drills, and more drills as they learned what to do with yes. the anointing when it came. Yes. And it reminded me of when we started this podcast, actually. Oh, my goodness, guys. When we first got the call from Amory Kelly of Charisma Media... It was not a direction we were expecting. God <laughs> said, God so had true. been saying, I'm going to send you in a new direction. So I thought, oh, we're going to start a ministry center in a new country or something, yep. you know. I guess that must be it. That's it. So when we got this call and she said, have you ever thought of starting a podcast with us on Charisma? <laughs> I was like, no. Uh-uh. I'm like, Charisma? Nah. Not interested. Uh-uh. And the Holy Spirit had to say, um, <clears throat> so remember my plans? <laughs> so I'm like, okay, hold on on that, guys. Your ways are not my ways, Colette. <laughs> <laughs> he has to repeat himself. <laughs> I still need to do my drills, right? Uh, and uh, so we started on this journey. And look, I mean, Craig and I have been in ministry 25 years now. Yeah. We've done video. We've done some TV. We've done radio. I've been on the podium. We've traveled too many countries, but I've never podcasted. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize how much was involved. It's a yes. whole different mindset. It is. Yeah. I mean, I stepped up to that mic so preachy and afterwards <laughs> I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm trying to listen to the first one I did. I'm like, shut up. Yep. You're so screechy. You're so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Be more conversational. Um, I know that anybody here who's done a podcast, if they mm. only know preaching and podium oh, work, you know what I'm talking about. Yep. And it comes back to what Craig said about doing the drills. We went through a season of doing drills, mm -hmm. podcasting drills. Yep. A 10-minute podcast would take us an hour. Oh, goodness me, yes. Because we had to practice and learn. Now, I want to go back to our passage here. And I want to pull out something very, very important. Now, when they saw mm -hmm. the boldness, you see, boldness is perfected in boot camp. Yes. And it is something that is seen. Mm -hmm. It is not something that is felt. Yes. It is indeed a muscle memory. You know, that's it. Because I always thought boldness as, a, as an emotion. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know about you, Prophet, but I, that's me. I thought, oh, if you feel boldness, if you have this little tingle in the back of your neck, that's <laughs> boldness. And now I'm going to step out. But that's actually courage. Yeah. And, and boldness is something that we can just do. It's an action. Oh, we can just do. Now, that is our <laughs> language right there, yeah, prophet. Just do it. It is something that we can just do. Boldness is an act. The, defini the dictionary definition of boldness is not hesitating or fearful in the face of actual or possible danger or rebuff. Mm. So even though you know you're going to get rebuffed, even though you know you may be stepping on some very thin ice, you do it anyway That's right. you put your feelings aside and you do it anyway mm. now that's why this is a drill because when you learn to do it anyway mm -hmm. in boot camp when you step out onto the field Thank you're you. going to do it anyway right. organically yes. you see <laughs> i got into a fight oh. I lie. I got into many fights with my team. You see, now I have I have Michael here, our producer, and, and he's laughing because I can see all the memories flashing across his face now. And those hours in our office where I was like, okay, guys, I asked for these story notes. I asked for the notes that belong on this um, podcast, <laughs> and it's been it's been a week. I do not understand why it takes me a week to get two paragraphs of copy. 
And it was just such a different <laughs> way of thinking that it took Dalton's our copywriter. It took him a while to switch. Yes. And it was struggle after struggle. I was tearing my hair out. So there we are. Mike's helping us out. He's handling the sound equipment. There Craig and I are fumbling over ourselves trying to get the podcasting language right. I've got Dalton taking forever to write copy. And Jessica, oh my goodness gracious, graphics designers. We love you to hate you. We do. <laughs> But she gave me such a hard time. She's like, no, that title's too long. I don't know how I'm going to make a graphic like that. I'm like, don't tell me my title's too long. <laughs> and then uh, Dr. Green taught us how to make very, very long titles. Yes. And I was like, ha, ha, ha. Now you have to figure this out, Jessica. <laughs> and so she practiced. And the first 50 graphics she, she did for me, I said, no, scrap, no, scrap. Yep. Do it again, do it again, do it again, and do it again. That profits. Yes. Is boldness. Yes. Boldness is doing it again mm. and again and again in the face mm. of danger mm. or rebuff. You know, the word I see in the spirit is persistence. Because as you've learned all these tools that we've told you about, it's like if you're persistent in using it, you're going to get better. Mm. You're going to hone it and become clearer. You know, an a MVP player is somebody that has honed in his skills to the point where he's above everybody else. Mm -hmm. And he stands out. And that's the point is we want you to stand out, Prophet, because you're a next gener, Because you are, you're called to be that MVP that can, in a tough situation, rise above and be bold and help the rest follow on behind you. You know, because that's the point. An MVP actually helps a team to win. Ooh, that's good. It's not just about him. He is performing at his best. And yes, he stands up above the rest. But it's the team that looks to him and says, dang, he's playing really well. <laughs> let's go. Let's let's support him. Let's get him the game. Ooh, but you know, I, I having some sons who have been in that place, I know for a fact that they're the ones working out when everybody else is sleeping. Yep. They're the ones studying the game when mm -hmm. everybody else is out partying in the town. Yep. That player that becomes the MVP is the one that's putting in that extra bit of boldness. What is boldness? It is an action and not hesitating in that action, mm -hmm. even though you might get rejection, rebuff, danger. You do it anyway. Mm -hmm. Listen, when you first start learning to, to prophesy, you do so with the fear of God, right? right. Fear and trembling. Your knees are knocking mm. and your hands are shaking. But you do it anyway. That's boldness. Yes. Now, don't stop there. Do it again mm -hmm. and do it again and do it again. Do it in your prayer closet. Do it while walking in the street. Do it while driving in the car. Right. Be bold, be bold. Those are your drills. Interpreting dreams as often as you can, yes. whenever you can. Now, do you see what we're giving you here? Because you keep waiting. Oh, I'm going to wait for the right environment when I'm at the meeting. Mm -hmm. And then God's going to show up. The worship's going to be great. I'm going to give that prophetic word. Why do you have to wait? Mm -hmm. Why can't you just do it now? Guys, you're a prophet. Mm -hmm. And what if that situation doesn't happen? You know, mm -hmm. that's the problem here, guys, is you play that scenario in your head and you think if it goes this way, the Lord will move. But then the worship's bad <laughs> we'll and the presence there. of the Lord doesn't come. <laughs> and then God calls you to step up to the plate and to and to deliver. And now because you've got this all in your head, it's not going to follow through. Mm. It's like, no, we need to be prepared at any set time. Oh, yes. Any set time. Let's get it out of your head. Let's get it out of your head. Okay, so what's your weapon of choice, Prophet? Let's make this real practical. Mm -hmm. um, some of you function well in dream interpretation, yes. um, visions, prophecy, gift of discerning of spirits, deliverance. Come on, we went through this. You guys know what tools mm -hmm. you have. Now, already by now, you should be feeling comfortable. Oh, I'm great at intercession or prophecy or whatever it is that you're functioning. That's Good. Right. Boldness is taking that weapon and using it as often as as you can yes. find don't wait for opportunities to use it find opportunities to use it yes. okay so god wants you to be a prayer warrior go find things to pray for pick up some burdens you shouldn't yeah you heard yep. me right why because then you'll learn to not do it again that's right but you'll learn you see boldness is doing it even if you might end up in trouble mm -hmm. but if you're doing this in the quiet when god does call on you Thank guess you. what 
you're going to be prayed up. Yes. You're going to be ready. And there's no situation out there that will shake you because you deliberately positioned yourself in the awkward mm -hmm. again and again and again yes. until, like Craig said, it becomes a muscle memory. God just needs mm -hmm. to tap you on the shoulder and boom, the interpretation comes. Boom, the prophetic word comes. Everything mm -hmm. flows when it should flow with an extra power, extra sharpness. Why? Because you've been practicing it for so long. And everybody yes. looks at you and goes, oh my goodness, mm -hmm. you're just so eloquent. You say that with so much wisdom. Wow, how did you get so good? Well, you and I both know what's <laughs> been happening. Yeah. You've been doing your drills. Yes. And that's what makes a champion. Those drills. You know, I see how the Lord wants you to rise up. And there are so many other prophets around you. And I love what you said, Colette. They're different types. You don't have to compete with each other. Mm -hmm. You walk alongside each other. And you're champions together. Oh, I love that picture so much. We are tribe. We're tribe. We're the next gen prophets tribe. That's where we are. And for those of you who've been along the journey... Go a little further with us. Yes. Consider becoming a sponsor. And if you want to be part of what we're doing here to reach the next gen, to raise the bar on the prophetic, I want you to go to nextgenprophets.org. You can do a couple of things there. Mm -hmm. Firstly, you can see all our podcast episodes. Yep. Then you can get onto our mailing list. We'll have a free book for you called The Gift of Prophecy for the Next Gen Prophet, plus a free course because we're all about relationships. Yes. We're all about investing into your call. Mm -hmm. And you can also find out about becoming a sponsor. In fact, I got a call from one of my team just yesterday, and she was sharing with me how she was in a conversation with some new sponsors that we got, one of them coming directly through this podcast. And I just want to give them a shout out. Amen. Okay, so guys, it seems that there is another um, bit of DNA that's part of our tribe is that every single one of us seem to have very difficult surnames. <laughs> that's how I know that all of these people yep. here. Yep. Are, are, are clearly part of our tribe because nobody knows how to spell touch. Nobody. I don't know no. why it's so complicated, but they don't. They always spell it as touch or touch or torch. So they, the touch apparently is difficult. And then, oh, my goodness, Mike and Deb. Yeah. Feltazen. I, people call them felt hazen. Okay, my, my favorite is Siri. Felt who I is in. It seems to be our thing. And so I would love to welcome Jacinda Gouvier which I hope I'm not trashing terribly. Um, Anna Gaver, I love you, Anna. We also welcome Kelsey and John Carter. <laughs> and then, and then I've left the most challenging for last, Joe, Joeo, J-O-A-O. -O. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Joeo. Wimbo, Wimbo, I got, I got it. <laughs> Welcome aboard, <laughs> Welcome, you guys. guys. <laughs> Welcome to the next Gen Prophets tribe. We're all a little crazy, but we love you. And I look forward to our next sponsor event, which, yes. which is actually when we do the ribbon cutting for our new ministry center. But I also have another one up my sleeve that I'm going to share with you guys in our private circle on our community of apostles and prophets so guys nextgenprophets.org come and join the team come share your name with me come and challenge me with your surname i'm ready <laughs> you know what guys i'm just glad colette had to try and say those names because <laughs> i think i would have butchered them so you know what guys welcome i'm so glad to have you along with us and uh you know what we'll see you tomorrow